Hey everybody, we're back with another cold hardy citrus tasting, and this is for the Troyer Citrange. I just couldn't help myself after the past few videos. I've been getting so excited with all the citrus coming into season, and especially being able to acquire some of these cold hardy citrus, I couldn't help but think if I could get my hands on a citrange. So we've already tried a citrandrin, which is half trifoliate orange, half mandarin, now in front of us here we have half sweet orange, half trifoliate orange. And you can kind of tell it really does look intermediate between the two. Just with the first appearance here, the fruit itself is the size and appearance of a Florida juicing orange. If you've seen these in the grocery store, the smaller oranges, they might have a little green, a little blemish. Um, very round and orange, of course, being an orange it does look a lot like those. So at least these particular ones I have in front of me here, they, they do look like something that you would use for juicing and you would find in the grocery store for that purpose. So maybe not necessarily a dessert quality fruit that looks perfect on the outside, but still very convincing looking. But there are some key differences between this specific citrange and sweet oranges. And just to put it out there, this citrange tasting is not reflective of all citranges because they can vary quite a lot, and there are much tastier versions. However, I just decided because I could get my hands on this that we might as well taste it. But there are better tasting cultivars such as Benton and Rusk, which are more notable uh, for their flavor and also have more uses, for example, for marmalade which I've heard that the rusk is pretty good for. The Troyer Citrange is not known for tasting good, um, but I'm here to give you my own opinions and, of course, try and have some objective means of reading these fruit. As we have here, we have our chart back up with all the different uh, variables we can look at for these fruit. So let's start with the size of the fruit being medium. Um, this is a medium-sized fruit. It's about the size of an ordinary lemon that you would get at the grocery store, uh, perhaps, or a small orange, a large clementine. Anywhere in that realm, this is, on average, about 105 grams. So it's not particularly small, not particularly large, but this would look very charming on a tree outside in your yard. If you saw hundreds of these loaded up, people might not believe it if you're in a colder climate, because these are good to zero degrees which means in a lot of cooler areas, citrange trees can grow where citrus otherwise cannot. Now the amount of seeds in here, I had some that had a decent amount. This one doesn't have a, a particularly large amount of seeds, but I also found on average that these have maybe about half the amount of seeds of a trifoliate orange, if not a little less. They're actually less seedy than I expected, at least in the particular batch that I got. So it does have some seeds, but not a whole lot, and they're not seedless either. When it comes to the overall quality of the fruit, judging based on appearance, taste, and how we might see these being used uh, either at a local farmer's market level or in grocery stores, you know, any uses they have at home, just the overall quality of these fruit and how much you might be willing or, or want to use these, we actually found it was somewhat poor um, I don't, I, I do think these fruit are fairly limited in their uses. They, they're not completely useless, um, but there are certainly much better fruit out there. This is definitely very much just if it's hardy to your zone, it can be a good plant to grow and perhaps have some uses in the kitchen, but just not a whole lot. And we'll kind of get into that now as we talk about the taste and the smell. So that's what you're here uh, to hear about. First, starting with the taste, I rated this one as, well, both me and my wife tasted these, and of course we, we found that these were also peculiar, like the citrandarin, but a different kind of peculiar. Uh, I liked the citrandarins better than the citrange here. Um, they just taste a little strange and perhaps a little light, too. The flavor in the Troyer citrange is very light, but it is lemon-like. So as we were eating these, we were like, you know what? It's not terrible. It could actually make a pretty decent lemon substitute. It's got some tartness. 
It's not as sour as a lemon, maybe about as sour as a Meyer lemon, which is a little sweeter. Um, but what's particularly strange about these fruit is the aroma. You do get some orange smell in there, some lemon smell in there, but it also has this metallic element to it. Um, something that we likens to pennies or even almost like a paper product smell like cardboard or a shoe box. It, it has some other smell to it that we couldn't clearly identify, which of course probably came from the trifoliate orange. That's where all the funny smells and tastes tend to come from. And sometimes they actually get amplified or changed in the hybrids because I actually found that I liked trifoliate orange taste and smell both better than the citrange. I just couldn't pinpoint the smell and the aroma does come out in the taste, uh, which kind of affects your eating experience when you get that kind of funky taste. Luckily though, the juice of the Troyer citrange seems to eliminate most of that aroma. The juice is very, very light, so you actually lose some of that and it redeems this fruit for juicing purposes. So it looks like a juicing orange and it actually can be used for juice. It just won't be the most amazing juice. You can't compare it to a Valencia orange by any means, but it is lemon-like in that regard. So high amounts of juice. These are very juicy fruit, and the acidity is probably a medium high on the scale. When it comes to bitterness, as I found with a lot of the trifoliate hybrids, I actually think the bitterness is quite low compared to, uh, say, a grocery store grapefruit or something. This hybrid was not particularly bitter. Um, we just didn't find a whole lot of that. I even don't think trifoliate orange itself is very bitter unless you're biting into the rind, which for this one too, if you took a bit out of the uh, a bite out of the rind there, you would notice a good bit of bitterness and it's very reminiscent of the trifoliate orange in the rind specifically. As for these inner segments, I didn't notice it quite as much as in the rind which is nice for juicing purposes. You don't want so much of that bitterness carrying into that. Now the sweetness is also pretty low. We read a Brix of 10.5, which is fairly similar somewhere in between trifoliate orange and citradia. So it's not a particularly sweet fruit at all. You kind of have to search for any sweetness that's there. So it's mostly just acidic, um, which again can be used in some sort of citrus aid. You can add a little sugar to it and it's perfectly acceptable. Um, trifolia influence for this fruit, uh, given the funny aromatics and given the somewhat intermediate uh, physical appearance, it looks more like an orange than a trifoliate orange, but there are some characteristics that kind of tell you that lineage. I would say though the trifolia influence on this one is high, mostly because of that aroma. It really affects the whole eating experience. So this one's high compared to some of the others. Its uses, I do think it's strictly just for juice. You could maybe try some preserves or something else with that and see if you can cook out some of the aromatics, but I think as long as you juice it and you're not using as much of the solids of the fruit, it's not half bad. And the thing is, if you're in a very cold area, and this is one of the few citrus you can grow besides regular trifoliate orange, you might be pretty happy with these growing. They will look beautiful outside, from what I know, they bear very heavily and very regularly season to season, and they don't tend to take a lot of cold damage. So they are a useful plant, a beautiful plant, and at least you could use the juice if you want to. Uh, so that is something. When we tried making the citrus aid, I did notice though it has a very light citrus taste. The acidity actually disappears pretty quickly when made into a citrus aid, so you almost have to be careful with how much sugar you add. I actually had to add less sugar than I did with some of the other citrus aids in order to improve the taste, otherwise it was just too sweet. Um, and even on its own, I, I think it was a little insipid where it just lacked overall flavor. That being said though, while the juice is low in flavor, it is still better than fresh consumption, and it is still a use for the fruit. So these fruit aren't completely useless. However, we do think the citrandarin is probably a better choice if you can get your hands on one of them. But this is a vigorous grower. It's got a decent amount of seeds, and I do believe the seeds come true to type. So we will be growing some of these out. 
uh, potentially selling them as well if we have some healthy specimens on hand. But just keep in mind some of these limitations. We will be primarily recommending this for juicing uh, for an acid citrus, and that is it really. We can't advertise much of its other uses simply because it is quite a funky citrus. So not absolutely horrible. There's much worse things to taste out there, but um, this is not the best trifoliate orange hybrid. So just want to be clear with that with this review here. But it's a charming fruit. Receiving these in the mail, and I will link the Etsy store below where we got these from. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised upon opening them. It was just once I started scratching and smelling them, that's when I started noticing, okay, there's something a little bit different about this hybrid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review overall. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming. If I'm being honest, we're kind of stalling here, uh, waiting until we get some of that set up to show you guys. There's some big things coming to the channel, as well as coming to our eBay and Etsy store. We just have a lot of exciting developments, and we're really plunging into the cold, hardy citrus world because it's one that I think could use uh, a little more involvement and a little more supply because there is some demands, and I do think there is some potential uh, for this niche industry here. So hope you guys have some happy holidays, some Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that if I don't uh, speak with you until then and look forward to the next video. All right, see you guys then. Bye-bye.